I bet you didn't let me be. People collect ball cards, coins, or art. Ted Young collects them all. That is, if it has to do with Elvis Presley. I started buying records and I never quit. It all began in the late 1960s. It was a record album from a movie called Kissing Cousins, 1964. Lining his basement walls are framed posters of every Elvis movie ever made, from small to large, from English to different languages. His favorite? Follow That Dream. I think that was a very where, where is Follow That Dream? Oh, I've got one here from Italy. I've got different graphics on different movies. Right here is one from Italy. Mm -hmm. That's called Follow That's that Dream. Follow, that's Follow That Dream. In Italian. And it's in Italian, yes sir. Huh. And Spanish Viva Las Vegas. How uh, much do you have invested in this, do you think? That'd be hard to say. Let's just say tens of thousands. He's collected every magazine that ever was with Elvis, dozens of 45s, bobbleheads, even a sports shirt with Elvis's initials. Ted still scours auctions and the internet in his search for the most unique. This right here is an item I just got in an auction. I'd been, this is a personal check that he had written. This right here, he did a movie in 67 called Double Trouble where he played a guy named Guy Lambert. Mm -hmm. This was the movie prop that was used in the movie. This here was what they call an in-house uh, gold record, and the guy that it was presented to was a sound engineer for RCA for about eight years. If you went back in a, in a previous life, so many people, guys, would love to be Elvis, would Oh, heck yeah, I would. <laughs> it was 1977 when Elvis died, and a sad one for Ted. What Did you cry? cry? Oh, more times than, you know, more times than not. I still sometimes watch stuff and get sentimental. In the basement of Ted Young, that Elvis's memory will never pass. A memory that's also shared all over the world. Driving in your neighborhood, I'm the Tennessee Traveler.